You don't want to approve me for a $250,000 mortgage so I can buy a better house and I can move out? Okay, then. I'm going to prank all your toilets in your bank. Don't try me. I will fuck up all your lives. That's right. One, two, and now three. All of y'all going to be shitting up storms this afternoon. Good luck. Good morning, everyone. It's Pixelate here, and welcome back to another part. Oh, my God. Did you guys We just? started the video with this bitch ran straight outside to do what take a wild guess eat some dog shit exactly and chase her tail this dog just does not learn okay so before i could even get into anything i don't even remember what part it is it's probably like part 20 or part 21 now i have some special things to announce of course but first i want to say this you're probably wondering matt where is your face you normally put your face in these kinds of videos okay well, I'm gonna tell you something. I look like complete shit this morning. So we are not doing that. Like, I look so bad. Like, my skin is so dry. It's like peeling off of my face. And I really don't feel like taking a shower and putting on lotion and doing my hair. So I was like, you know what? I just wanna film and just not have to worry about any of that stuff. So today's video is going to be without my face. But trust me, it won't be any less entertaining than any of the other videos that I've uploaded. Wow. So what an interesting start to the part. Couldn't even get into my intro. The dog was just like, I gotta run outside and go eat some shit. I just gotta do it. It is in her blood. <laughs> oh no, a burglar has just been spotted in the area. Lock your doors. Oh no, you are not coming in, baby. Lock door four. Absolutely everyone. You're not fucking coming. Oh, he's got a gun. He brought the Glock and everything. Oh no, he's picking my lock. Wake the fuck up, right? Right now, bitch. Wake up. Oh, no. Hold on. I'm pretty sure there's something you can do. You can call the police on these motherfuckers, right? Oh, no. He's picking my lock and everything. You can fight the burglar. I mean, we're going to fight the burglar. But before anything, I want to call the police. Oh, my God. What do I do to call the police? I'm, like, afraid to put this on play because he's getting in the fight. Yeah, that's right, bitch. It's locked. You can't get in. He's like, oh, shit. Uh, I don't know how to pick a lock. I don't have the right key. I don't know what I'm doing. I know there's a burglar here and we're trying to figure out how to freaking call the police so we can get him arrested. There it is. Call the police. Call over partners in crime. Open gun. No, we're definitely not doing that. Call the police, Cora. Call the police. She's like terrified right now. She's got a moodlet. Armed robber. Cora just witnessed an armed robber. She should stay away from them before they do something dangerous. Yes, call the police. 5-0 is on the way. A police cruiser has been dispatched to your current location. Please stay away from any suspect. No! It says, please stay away from any suspected Sims and hide in a safe spot until the police arrives. This bitch was like, if I can't get into your house to steal things inside, I'm going to steal things from outside. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so mad. Hurry up, police. This bitch just took my fucking workout equipment. No. What else is he taking? How is he stealing shit from inside the house? No. Come on, cops. Get here faster. What the fuck is taking you so long? He's taking all my things. You know what? We're not playing this game. Fight the burglar. Wait, put down the mac and cheese, bitch. Put down the mac and cheese and fight this motherfucker. He's not taking any more of our stuff. There he is. Are we going to get compensated? Here, we're going to unlock the doors now. He's like, uh, I can't get in. Come on here and fight the- Yeah, fight this bitch. Fight this bitch. You're not going to steal my fucking workout equipment, dumb bitch. Beat his ass. That's right. We fucking won and he's got the gun and everything too. Better not shoot me. Thank you. Yes, I would like to file a police report, please. Please. Excuse me. What's your emergency? What's your bitch? This motherfucker right here that's running away. Go catch him. Look at him. She's a runner. She's a track star. Oh no. And now we got Sims on fire and everything. Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. What is going on out here? Now these officers are going to think that we called the police for no reason when that's not the case at all. We just got robbed and he ran away. So like, what do we tell them now? The worst part about this is there's actually no option for me to report the guy that that just robbed us. We can report Agnes because she got kidnapped. So actually, we're gonna report that kidnap. I mean, 
<laughs> I feel so bad for like, what, two or three days? Yeah, it's been a minute since Christmas. How long has it been since Christmas? I don't even remember. We're reporting this sim so late, but I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that because in real life, you can't report a missing person until like 48 hours after they've gone missing. So I mean, technically we have to wait until she's been gone for a while, even though we totally saw her get kidnapped. But the guy that just robbed us is not even on this list, guys. So I don't even know what to do, but we're gonna report this Keely Warner girl because she's actually on fire out here and I'm surprised she's not dead right now. Oh no, you better stay away from my cow. You're gonna catch my damn cow on fire. <laughs> you guys, what is going on? This is not what I had intended for this part. I swear to God. Oh no, all the chickens are gonna die. I'm not looking forward to this. No, there is nothing suspicious about this. She's on fire, girl. What are you doing? Oh boy. But anyways, guys, what I wanted to tell you was, all right, let's just do something about this, Sam. I don't want her to die. Let's go extinguish her. She is going to die. Put the bike down. Where are you going, girl? This bitch is on fucking fire and you're riding your bike across town. Yes, I'm just gonna ride my bike across town to report to this police officer that a girl is on fire on my lot because that's totally gonna do something. Oh my God. Okay, if you would have just gotten on your bike, you would have got here so much quicker. But what I wanna know is why the fuck is she running like Michael Jackson Thriller? <laughs> the drama in this episode put the girl out i want to know why this dude is just standing there staring at her pick up the extinguisher and put this bitch out spray her down oh it's not even doing anything oh snap i'm gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again aren't i she's spraying her in the face with this shit and everything she's not gonna be able to breathe sorry about that girlfriend i don't know why you were on fire i don't even know why you're even here on my lot on my property but girl oh we got paid oh thank you so much you have saved my life yeah i mean you would have been dead like 20 minutes ago and you should have been dead 20 minutes ago who's gonna be on fire that long it's been hours oh my goodness now they're all really pissed off because they got robbed this is crazy i'm gonna have mom actually come outside is this another okay i'm not gonna deal with this we have another robber here how do we change these settings so we are not getting robbed every single day because this is gonna get ridiculous if we're getting robbed every single day okay i can understand if it happens every once in a blue moon but it should not be happening every single day all right, so we can actually change the tragedy occurrence speed. I don't know what it's currently set to, but I'm going to change it to very slow just so things don't happen that often. You're not going to be stealing my stuff, sir. I'm just going to tell you right here, right now, I am not about that life, okay? No, you're not stealing my shit. Get out. I will kick you off my lot with MC Command Center, and I don't even care. Leave now. Cora, you can go take care of the chickens. Go ahead and scatter the feed you've already cleaned the coop refill the feed clean the shed and then of course we will give bell some attention she's actually doing good for once like she's actually very happy she's clean her hunger is full her attention is content we will feed her then we will milk her and then we'll do a little bit of socialization we will smother her with love and then tell joke about legend dairy milk oh my gosh these freaking dad jokes they're freaking hilarious okay kaden is actually off to school i I don't even remember if I had him do his homework, but I will have him listen to the teacher today. And okay, this is what I wanted to announce to you guys. This is what I wanted to show you. So I have downloaded a house from the gallery, okay? And I'm gonna show you who it was created by. The house was created by a user by the name of Mars is not fun. Builder who loves to make cottages, beach houses and towns, and sometimes I make townies too. I wanted to give this user a shout out okay because I wanted to let you guys know that I did not build this house I simply just placed it but I did change a lot of things around I did some more landscaping and added terrain paint different kinds of terrain paint I have custom content terrain paint I've placed down some new objects I've changed the order of things I've redecorated and redesigned and did some stuff of course I did leave some stuff the same but I did change other stuff so I wanted to just let you guys know right here right now that I did not build this okay it just says my my name here because I modified it but it was created by Mars is not fun so we do have a new house guys we haven't bought it yet and here's why okay I'm gonna click X here's why we haven't bought it we have 2,600 simoleons we cannot afford anything guess how much this house is going to cost 152,000 simoleons so you know what we're going to do guys we are going to take out a big loan we're probably gonna take out 200,000 simoleons just so we have 
some wiggle room, you know, and some extra money and some extra time so that we don't run out of money and then we get faced with repossessions. We're going to take out a much bigger loan than we need because we probably won't be able to pay it back right away and we're going to be losing money. So give us a little more wiggle room. We're either going to take out 200,000 or a quarter of a million simoleon loan. Keep in mind, guys, this is not a cheat. What I will be doing is taking out like a loan, like a mortgage. So we have to pay it back and there is going to be an interest rate with that as well. So it's going to be quite scary. So we're actually going to be heading down to the bank today to get that all sorted out while Cora is out here taking care of the farm animals. I'm going to have Brennan go ahead and get ready for the day so we can do that. He's already taking care of most things. Actually, he is a little hungry and I don't think Caden actually ate all of this omelet for breakfast. So I will have uh, Brennan go ahead and eat some of that as well. And while he's eating that, we'll have him watch some Sims flicks. Oh no, what happened? Oh no, the lactose, he's got to go diarrhea. Oh no. I should have known that was coming, guys. <gasps> oh, jeez. That's what happens when you eat eggs, guys. It's gonna hit you out of nowhere. <laughs> we found an unsent love letter from Caden to his teacher. What? To his teacher? Ew. Nothing racy, but we thought you should know. Cute, but inappropriate. That's not cute at all. That's a teacher. He's a kid and that's a grown ass adult. That's creepy. No. He's definitely in big trouble. Yes, his manners definitely needs to increase from that. No. All right, Brennan wants to do some self woohoo. He totally just did that on his own. I don't understand why these Sims just can't undress until they reach the bedroom. Like, why do they have to undress and then walk through the whole house? Because you're just like, what if you have company over? Now they're going to see you butt ass naked and nobody wants to see that. Yes, put on some clothes. Guys, we're going down to the bank. I'm so scared. What if they don't approve us? Yes, it's very possible we could take out this loan and they might not even approve us for it. It. We don't even know. Like, this is such a big thing that we're doing. All right, we're just getting to the bank, and I don't know what in the... <laughs> They're all what the fuck? The same animation played for all the Sims at the same time. And of course, what Brennan does best, he likes to bust ass in front of other people. He did it on Christmas morning in front of his fiance and child and dog, and now doing it in front of all these bank employees. I think that's so funny how they all just like spawned at the same time, like right out front of the store and all complaining that it's cold and everything. All right, we got to talk to the loan officer. I'm so scared, guys. Actually, you know what? Before you talk to the loan officer, Officer, get into the bathroom. We need to have a conversation with ourselves. Fix your makeup, even though he doesn't even wear makeup. Yeah, I don't even know why I had him do that. I just thought that that was kind of funny. I love that animation though. He definitely needs to boost his confidence. He's about to ask the loan manager at the bank for a quarter of a million simoleons. We are broke. There is no reason why we should be approved for that. But you know what? We got to get ready, okay? We have to make sure that we look good. We smell good. Go put on your cologne. Choose Sunday best outfit. Ooh. Oh, I've never done that before. I've seen that interaction in my game plenty of times though, but look at how confident he's feeling. Oh, can you stop busting ass? Brennan, quit busting ass. <laughs> Oh, he does. Oh my God, they can actually go on the intercom? I didn't even know that. That is so cool. Yeah, go in here. Look at him. He's feeling confident. He's feeling flirty. Glamorous presence. Lemon scent cologne. Brennan is wearing cologne. So now I'm just really hoping that us having a better appearance somehow increases the chance of us getting approved for this loan, even though I honestly doubt that it will. He's like, all right, sir, I have a big request for you. I don't know how you're going to respond to this, but your boy is broke and your boy needs a lot of money. We're gonna, oh my gosh. Okay, apply for a loan, apply for an SMB credit. Oh my gosh, how much do you wanna borrow? Or this is gonna be a lot to ask for. Ooh, 200,000 simoleons. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it looks like you already have a booked loan of this type. You cannot take multiple loans for the same type. For that reason, your loan application has been rejected. You won't be charged a 150 orientation fee, but we will have to take the application fee of 50. Your current SMB bank balance is 2996. Okay, so I'm guessing this means that we just have to pay off that balance first then, right? Which we actually can't because look, we still owe money, I think. So then what do I do? How do I pay off that loan then? Do I talk to an account manager? I guess we talk to an account manager, right? Is there a way 
way that I can just like completely pay it off here? Or is that something that I'm gonna have to do at home on the mailbox? Yeah, I don't know guys. Maybe we'll have to come talk to this bank teller. Let's come out here and do that. Request assistance from the bank teller. Okay, there we go. Make a loan payment. Okay, which debit account would you like to use to pay your loan agreement payment today? Um, we can use our household funds. It says our current loan balance is 5,000. Oh my gosh. A current amount that's due is 374. How much would you like to pay today? Can I pay 5,000 or will it not let me? 2682, that's how much we have in here. There we go. Thank you for making a loan payment. Is there anything else I could help you with? No, but I wanna do this. Oh no, oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad, my bad, money buy. Oh, let's change the money back to zero, sorry. <laughs> I wanna make a withdrawal. We have 2996, so we're gonna take all the money out. Your current balance is zero. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yes, there is. I'd like to make another loan payment with the household funds. Okay, so now I can do 2692. Congratulations, you just paid off your loan with us. Thanks again for choosing SN Bank to satisfy your everyday needs. Okay, cool. So now this is what I wanna know. Now that we've paid off our loan, does that make us look good? Like, will he approve us now? Like, do we have a higher chance of getting approved for a loan this big? Well, let's sit down and see. I'm so nervous. Like, oh, oh, I don't need a stack of money this time. I need a suitcase of money. Oh no, you actually need, what's this? $50 application and $150 origination. You don't have enough money? I do have enough money. I have 304 simoleons. Do I have to put that into my bank account? All right, well, let's just walk back over here and do that then. God, this is a process, guys. I did not think that this would be such a process. Let's make a deposit. We'll put 304 in the bank. I've completed your deposit. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I want to come sit down and talk to the loan officer again for the third time today. Why well, just not be able to do this like at all there we go apply for a loan apply for a smb credit account oh my god this is gonna be so much 200 i was gonna do 250,000. i was gonna do a quarter of a million simoleons but honestly that's kind of pushing it i don't know if it's worth it is it worth applying for that much should we still do it and have some extra money lying around i don't know all right let's do it oh my gosh no based on your current financial situation we won't be able to approve your loan application at 250. we can however offer you these following terms that would best suit your current credit status. 30,000, what the fuck is that gonna do? We need more than that. Oh, and he still took money from us. All right, we're gonna apply again, except we're gonna do 200,000. Oh, God damn it. Guys, we can't afford it. We can't, how are we gonna be able to move to a bigger house? We're not gonna be able to do it. Are they like looking at our income? Is that how this works? I wanna have my sim get this mortgage, but we can't get this mortgage, guys. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm pissed. I know it's a lot of money, but like we're really working our way up in our career. Like we'll be able to pay it off. That's not a problem at all. You guys, what does this mean? Does this mean that we can't move into a bigger house yet? How do we trick this motherfucker into thinking we got more money? I don't know. What do I do? I'm so mad. I really want to move to a new house now. Oh no. Are we allowed to rob the bank? Can we... <laughs> Can we rob the bank? Can we please just rob this damn bank? Because we need this money. And these bank tellers, these workers are not cooperating with us at all. Yeah, we're taking all our money out the bank, guys. This is all we have left. 200 freaking simoleons. Oh, I don't even know what we're gonna do. You know what? Fuck all these people. You don't wanna approve me for a $250,000 mortgage so I can buy a better house and I can move out? Okay, then. I'm gonna prank all your toilets in your bank, bitch. Don't try me. I will fuck up all your lives. That's right. One, two, and now three. All of y'all gonna be shitting up storms this afternoon. Good luck. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go home now. To be honest with you though, guys, I can see why they wouldn't approve us for a loan. Like I can really see why, but also at the same time, it's just like, how much money are we gonna need to save before we're allowed to take out that much money? You know, we're really gonna have to save up like crazy. And we're gonna have to focus on getting Brennan promoted because we need this bigger house guys we need it like i wanted to move out in this part but now it looks like we gotta wait some time is he gonna be working today let's see this he's actually off today but his fitness skill oh my god and this motherfucker took our only workout equipment and we have no workout equipment i hate this so much we're gonna have to have him just go jogging outside or something but yeah go jogging this is the only way we're gonna be able to get our fitness skill up because now we can't even afford to buy a new punching bag because that was stolen in the first place <sighs> 
<laughs> this is such a mess. Okay. And then as soon as he's done the fitness skill, then we'll have him study his opponents. I don't even know what he needs to do to study his opponents. That's his daily task. Me. Oh, he probably needs to go on a computer for that. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Also, we need to have her talk to the creature keeper because she is still yet to do that. But right now she wants to eat some cake. Oh, she's also feeling a little bit off. Oh, she better not be pregnant again. That's all I'm going to say. What's this pain in Cora's mouth? Oh, she has a mouth ulcer. Ooh. Caden's home now. He can go and do his homework. Oh, he's a B student. Yay. He's doing pretty good in school. And of course, he still didn't gain his skill. So I'll probably have him continue doing this for a little while. Oh, wait. We could actually just have him ride his bike around. He'll gain fitness skill from that too. Yeah, do that. It'll work out for you. Oh, and he's got his little helmet on and everything. Look at him. You guys. Oh, you already know what time it is. Oh, yeah. He just got his fitness up to level five. Brennan can now make protein shakes at the bar. He can also perform the no sweat run on the treadmill. Brennan has improved his endurance and will lose less energy when swimming. And Caden has mental level four now. He can get better moolets from play arithmetic games on a computer. He can now create health potions at the science table. That's also another reason why I wanted them to move out and get a bigger house because he needs a bigger room so I can get him more stuff. But look at this. Like there's just no space in here for him to do like anything. And I freaking hate it. Oh, it's like it's really pissing me off. We were so close too. I had her quit her job and everything, but you know what? Go paint, girl. Resume your large classic painting and just paint these away. Paint as many as you possibly can. I don't even care. There's probably only a few minutes left of this painting and then she'll be done it. What the hell is this? Who the fuck is this bitch pulling up here? Looking for love. Is this like a prostitute or something? Who is this girl and why does she just pull up on a Harley Davidson bike? Pink wig, thick ass, give him whip blush. Ah! <laughs> All right, I need to stop. You guys, I have to actually end this part here. I know the day's not over, but I just got a notification on my phone that there's been a new Sims update today. So I have to stop this so that I can make a video for that. But I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm pissed because we couldn't get a loan, but hopefully we're able to actually, you know, secure that eventually. Also, you better, who is this girl? I want to know what this girl wants. What is looking for love? Is she a prostitute? Like what is going on? Cause we do not need any of that in our lives. Sell your painting and then we will have you start another large classic one and we'll just have her keep painting and selling them. That's what we'll have her do. And it's so disappointing because at the new house, we have like three or four uh, sheds for cows. We have like three or four chicken coops. So we are going to really be like raking in the things, you know, like to make money. But it's like we can't move out there yet, which stinking sucks. But I love you all. Thanks for clicking and watching. And I will see you all next time. So long and happy simming. Bye, everyone.